In previous videos, we have seen the definition of Laplace transform. So let us discuss one more example. One example already we have seen in previous video. Let us discuss one more example of Laplace transform. We have this function f of t is equal to cos t when t lies in 0 and pi and its value is sin t for t greater than pi. That means function has two different definitions and we have to find its Laplace transform. So we are going to use definition of Laplace transform to find its value. Let us start with a definition. Definition says Laplace of f of t. We have already seen the definition of Laplace. It is integration 0 to infinity e raised to minus st f of t dt. So this is definition of Laplace transform. We have to put the value of f of t here. But see f of t has two different definitions for two different domains. So the here in definition we have an interval 0 to infinity. But actually in a function we have an interval 0 to pi and the next one is pi to infinity. So I will split this integration in this way. Integration 0 to pi e raised to minus st f of t dt plus integration pi to infinity e raised to minus st f of t dt. Okay. So uh, I could split this integration in this way. So for 0 to pi, for 0 to pi, the value of f of t is cos t. So here at a place of f of t, I have to put cos t. And for pi to infinity, that means t greater than pi, the value of f of t is sin t. That means at a place of f of t, I have to put sin t. Let us do that. So this is equal to integration 0 to infinity, 0 to pi. Sorry, I should write here 0 to pi e raised to minus st here cos t dt since value of f of t is cos t for 0 to pi plus pi to infinity e raised to minus st f of t value of f of t is sin t for t greater than pi so i should write sin t dt so now we have to solve these two integrations so maybe you will get confused okay how to solve these two integrations since we have a product of two functions shall we use that lit rule getting to select our u and v and by uh, integration by parts can we solve this problem no okay so it will be very difficult to solve in that way i will give you the direct formula and using those formula we can easily find its value so the direct formulas are integration e raised to a t sine b t is equal to e raised to a t divided by a square plus b square into in bracket a sin bt minus b cos bt. This is formula for integration e raised to at sin bt. Similarly, we have one more formula for e raised to at cos bt. Okay, let me write here e raised to at cos bt. The formula is e raised to at divided by a square plus b square into in bracket I should write a cos bt plus b sin bt okay you can easily see here okay Th these are our formulas you can easily see when we have cos we have a plus sign between them and when we have sine, we have a minus sign between them okay so you can easily compare these integrals with this formula and we can directly use the formula let us use the uh, let us solve this integration using those formula e raised to minus st cos t dt you can easily compare this integration with this formula multiple of t is a multiple of t is minus s multiple of t angle it's t only here is bt that means b is equal to 1 and a is equal to minus s let us put those values there so you will have e raised to a is minus s minus st divided by a square minus s square is a square plus b square that means b is 1 a is minus s cos t see a is equal to minus s b is equal to 1 so that's why i could write it plus b is 1 and sine b is 1 again so with limit 0 to pi so in this way we got the value of this integration okay let us go for the second integral for second integral we have to use the second formula we have a space so let us write here okay e raised to minus st sine t so you can easily compare with this integral multiple of t is minus s multiple of t is a so a is equal to minus s here 
angle is t only angle is bt so value of b is 1 again so here you have to put a is equal to minus s and b is equal to 1 let us do a is to minus s t a is minus s minus s square is s square only b is 1 here a is uh, minus s minus s sin minus s sin what i should write b is 1 sin t minus b is 1 cos t since b is 1 right with limits pi to infinity right i have carried the same limits see there is no more space to solve this problem further so make a screenshot of it and after that we will go further so let us continue i have kept the important steps previous steps here so l of f of t okay we have reached up to this one first of all we have to put upper limit after that we have to put lower limit but before that i will tell you some standard values that is sine 0 is always 0 sine pi that is also 0 cos 0 is 1 and cos pi which is minus 1 okay so we know these values so we can directly put the values okay and we will reduce our efforts so this is equal to i am putting upper limit pi everywhere so e raised to minus pi s at a place of t we are putting pi s square upon s square plus 1 right here i am putting pi cos pi is minus 1 we have so minus 1 into minus s plus s right sine pi is 0 we have so forget it its value is 0 minus now i am putting 0 at a place of t e raised to 0 is 1 upon a square plus 1. I am putting 0 here. Cos 0 is 1. So that's why it is minus s, right? Sin 0 is 0. So we yeah, have no need to write anything. So in this way, we finish the first bracket. Plus, let us go further and discuss this next one. Now we have to put the upper limit first, that is infinity. But see what will happen if I put infinity here. We will have e raised to minus infinity, which is 0 okay so thank god we have got zero since zero into anything we will have zero so if i put infinity here you will have the force from zero and zero into any bracket you have it will be zero so forget it so zero by putting upper limit we are having zero let us put lower limit pi c let us go step by step i am putting t is equal to pi e raised to minus pi s divided by s square plus one right here i am putting pi so you know that sine pi is zero right so sine pi is 0 so this one will be 0 and cos pi cos pi cos pi cos pi cos pi is minus 1 so if i put cos pi minus 1 minus minus plus so we'll have plus 1 here right so we have some limited uh, terms let us simplify it further so s into e raised to minus pi is right this minus minus plus s and this minus e raised to minus pi is. see all of them have the same denominator that is s square plus 1 so this is the required answer this is the required laplace transform you can solve it further okay you can uh, make some more adjustment and you will have more simplified answer but this one is also correct and the, you can consider this as a final answer also so make a screenshot of it and then we will stop thank you bye bye